Hey, it's Hagai from Let's Enhance, and today I'm excited to share with you an overview to the new version of our platform. We've had it completely redesigned to make things a little easier to navigate and work with. One of the key changes we've made with the image uploader is making it more scalable. You can now upload and process up to 20 images at once. We've also added information about the images, like input and output resolutions and megapixel count depending on what type of upscaling you choose. And it will automatically adjust the output resolutions and megapixel count to give you a better understanding of what the image size will look like after upscaling. In addition to that, we've added an upload status to give you an understanding of how the upload process is going. There's also an option to delete images individually from the uploader. And lastly, there's an option to clear the entire uploader in case you wish to cancel. And by the way, uploading images will not remove any credits. It's a staging area for you to set everything up before you start processing the images. Next, we have the Operations tab on the right-hand side, where you can customize everything before processing. Our first section is Upscaling. This is where you can choose different upscaling methods. Starting from off, in case you want to enhance colors, tones, or both of them combined. And then you have the upscaling methods, times 2, 4, 8, 16, and custom in case you want to have a specific resolution. Keep in mind that choosing custom will preserve the aspect ratio of the image, meaning you only have to specify one part of the desired resolution, either width or height, the other value will be adjusted to auto to make sure the images don't stretch or squeeze when the upscaling takes place. Next, we have the algorithm section. Starting with auto, that will automatically choose the upscaling type for you to photo, also known as photos and arts on our previous version, illustration to photo 2.0. Photo 2.0 is based on an entirely new algorithm that we've been working on over the last year, and we're very excited to share it with you today. It's more robust in terms of image compression removal, higher upscaling accuracy, and detail preservation. Photo 2.0 Faces is a new algorithm that has been built to restructure face characteristics. It works great with compressed images from WhatsApp, Telegram, Facebook, Pinterest, and other social media platforms that compress images to save size and bandwidth. Here's a quick comparison between Instagram, Photo V1, V2 Faces, Instagram again, V1, V2 Faces, another Instagram image, Photo V1, and Photo V2 with color correction and tone correction. Next, we have the enhancement section. Well, one of the key changes we've made is giving you the ability to combine both color and tone. And for the last section of the operations is the advanced options. They allow you to select the output format from either Auto, JPEG, or PNG. Another new feature we're excited to share today is the Presets tab. We've created presets for users to save valuable time without getting too technical with all the different settings, from real estate to adjust property images, e-commerce to enhanced product images, all the way through printing presets like A0 for canvas prints, A3, A4, and 8x8 photo books. So we've covered the basics now let's see everything in action. I've got this folder with photos of my kid that were sent to me through Telegram. The original images were missing, and I was kind of stuck with a bunch of compressed photos. But I want to have them printed in a photo book. So I'm going to upload them to the platform. And since I'm already in presets, I can just choose photo books, and then start processing. 
I've also got another folder with some property images that I want to upscale using the presets, just to save some time. So I'm going to just simply upload those images. And then I can go to presets, click real estate, start processing, and it will start processing. Once an image is finished processing, you can download it by clicking the arrow next to the image. To access options for all the processed images, just take the processed images over here, and a download or delete button will show up on the right hand side, where you could either delete the images or download them to your local drive. You also have individual options for every image, by clicking the three dots, then you can either download or delete an image. Now just before we end this, we're inviting you to join our Facebook beta community to share feedback, ideas, or anything about the platform. You can join by clicking the Join Our Community at the bottom of the page. And that's it. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you there.